Hi guys, um, got a couple requests on how to play the switch foot. Disclaimer, I am by no means an instructor, I just play, so I'm going to try and explain this, but if it's confusing as all heck, you know why. I have no experience training people, so here we go. Okay, so this is uh, switch foot, let that be enough, a little instructional. Um, it's picked, so, you know, it's kind of hard to show you both, but, uh, alright, well, I'll just show you the basic chords first. Um, you start out with your E. Uh, different order, though. It goes E, A, G, D, um, for the first part. Uh, the next chord you do is, uh, you just lift up off of the A. So A will be open, and you're only playing uh, your your D and your G. I'm um, just holding there. Actually, what I do is I move my middle finger from A to D. Um, and you play A, D, G, and then you hammer up. Actually, you hit, you press uh, on the second fret on G, and then you hammer off. So it'd be like this. So that would be A, D, G, G, hammer off, uh, back to D. Um, so that's the first part. And then actually in between that and the next chord, he, uh, I, uh, this is my version, uh, hits the uh, A open. And then it hits it once more on the way up, kind of like slide it up to four, and hmm, that's the chord. There is uh, you're not pressing, you're not touching your E string. You're just hitting A, uh, D, and G, which you'll be doing uh, four, two, four, uh, two, two, four, and open to four, and then uh, on your D string. kind of go from 2 down to 1 again, kind of like you did with the G string on uh, the second chord. So, I'll show you a close up here in a minute, but pretty much this is what we have so far. So that's pretty much the uh, the two verses. All right. So this is uh, this is part one. For the chorus, um, we're doing, we're starting with an F sharp. Um, you're actually leaving the B and E strings open. Uh, actually, you don't even hit the the high E on the first um, on the first note. You only hit the B. Um, so pretty much, your your finger placement should be. You guys can't even see it. Um, two, um, four, four, and three, and then open, open. So. That'll be that part of it. Um, the next one you go to is you won't be touching the E string. You'll be going A. Um, A will be open. D will be on the second fret. G and B will be on the fourth, and your high E will be uh, open. So you'll be going. So so far. And you go down to your E. And back up to your uh, the second chord, which is that variation on a B, I guess it would be, uh, which is from the top. Uh, you won't be hitting E. Uh, a will be open. 
uh, D will be 2, G will be 4, and B and E will be open. You can even put your, you know, fourth uh, fret for the G. If you want a little different sound, like I said, it's not exactly how they play it, but uh, it's close enough. Um, so that part is, that's the first part of the chorus, so we're going... You'll do that, uh, what, twice? Alright, so that first part of the chorus is taken care of. And uh, for the second part, um, yeah, not sure the name of the chord, but uh, pretty much what you're doing is, uh, this is the part where he's saying, let me know that you hear me. <clears throat> um, I play uh, kind of like a variation on B. Um, that would be... going, let me know that you hear me. And uh, pretty much what you're doing there is you're just changing from your, uh, you're on the second fret on the A, uh, on D and G, you're up on the fourth. Um, and so it's, I guess the first part of that would be uh, two, um, four, four. And then the second part would be moving over to uh, just an open on the A, a uh, second fret for the D, and fourth fret for the G. So pretty much what you're doing is you're just lifting up your ring finger, scooting over the, uh, scooting over the index finger one it's from A to D. And, you know, if you want to play the, I like the way the E and the B sound there open too. Um, you just pick it how you want. I mean, I got my own way. Figure out your own. It's much easier than trying to do the picking and the chords. So uh, he does that. Let's see. Let me see. He does it three times, I believe. Wait. Let me know that you hear me. Let me know you touch. And then, okay, so that's the second part of the, uh, the chorus. Um, he does that part, I believe, three times. And then the last part of that, where he goes back to let that be enough, you'll be starting on the, uh, it'll be like that chord um, in the verse, where you have uh, your A starting with A, not playing on the E, starting with the A. Um, four. Two, four, four. So, four, two, four, and four. And that's the part, it's kind of like a walk down on the A. Uh, I'll just play it for you really quick. So pretty much what you're doing is you're just four, and then uh, for that last, for that second to last part of that, you'll be uh, using your index finger to cover the A and the D. Um, Ring finger and pinky will be on the uh, G and B. Um, so, but instead of playing it all the way down, you'll be going from two two four four two back to your E. So it'll be. Let that be enough. So back to your uh, back to your verse, and that is pretty much it. Um, Hope it was helpful. If it wasn't, just watch the original enough times, I'm sure you'll get it. This would be the first part of the chorus. Follows. 
right into the verse. Mm -hmm.